George Ezra's censored platinum party at the palace performance has baffled his fans after he left out some of the chorus lyrics. More than several thousand people attended the spectacular event outside Buckingham Palace to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, and millions more tuned in at home. George, 28, thrilled the crowds when he delivered his familiar new hit song, Green Green Grass, but some found it odd when he refused to finish the chorus. The chorus of the track includes the lyrics, You better throw a party on the day that I die. But people watching the star-studded concert reacted to the awkward moment he cut the line short, singing only You better throw a party. One said, they censored George Ezra. Another tweeted, there's something funny but also not funny about George Ezra having to take the words the day I die out of his new single. Given 96-year-old Queen Elizabeth II's amazing age, another remarked, seemed worse leaving out the day that I die, made it more obvious. Fourth reacted, why is George Ezra cutting words out of his songs till the day I die? It happens to us all. And a fifth said, um the awkwardness of George Ezra not being able to sing his original lyrics. Elsewhere, Sarad seemed nervous about singing Neil Diamond's classic Sweet Caroline, and claimed the BBC forced him into it. Sarad, 77, told the crowd, This is a funny one for me to sing but the BBC made me sing it. Join and make it comfortable for me. Olympic gold medal winners Tom Daly and Dame Jessica Ennis Hill thanked the Queen for all the support she has given sports stars. They introduced Italian opera singer Andrea Bocelli, who has been blind since 12, who sang World Cup football anthem Nessun Dorma. Princess Dis favorite band Duran Duran with Simon Le Bon, 63, sang girls on film as the Queen's fashion through the years was projected onto the front of the palace. Dame Julie Andros, 86, and Sir Mo Farah, 39, paid tribute to the Queen's dedication while tennis star Emma Rajakanu, 19, praised her ability to stay calm at all times. And the crowd, which included 7,000 key workers who kept Britain going in the pandemic, swayed with elbow and the citizens of the World Choir, 